everybody and welcome back to Seduce Me the Atomi where we're doing Damien's Road where of course when I woke up this woman was there again. <laughs> Diana! Demon! Heck, as I said before and I was told again, the devils had more manners than this woman and didn't the others say that demons were supposed to be more, I don't know, they're more of a brain. This one surely does not have a brain. Go away woman. You're a demon. I am. But I'm much more than just an average demon. True, you're a pain in the ass. What do you mean though I can fathom my own ideas what you mean? Silly girl. I'm a succubus. Yes, you totally suck. Go away. I said it down in shock. A succubus. Face incubi. Now a succubus. Great. I now met both genders of sex demons, only this one was ten times more annoying. The boys weren't annoying, they're just cute. Then I crossed her arms under her bosom and looked at my body. Don't give me that look. Well, you are pretty. Mm-hmm. You're pretty annoying, go away. But you seem very reckless. Too reckless. Not my fault. I can't help people want to kidnap me. Or barge into my room in the middle of the night. I moved out and stood from the bed, still glaring at Diana. Why are you here? Oh, I just wanted to see who my competition was. Trust me, love, you cannot compete with me. I totally win this one. Competition. For the boys, of course. They don't belong here, and yet here they remain. I want to know why, and remedy this little issue. I want to stay here too if I knew you exist in the additional planes. I want to stay the hell away from you. Bloody woman. This girl was seriously pissing me off. But she probably already knew that. Issue? What issue? They want to stay here so they can. Silly uneducated human. You don't understand the important roles these boys play in the Abyssal Plains. You keeping them here is practically imprisonment. Uh huh. You have about 10 seconds to leave. If you don't mind, could you get out of my room? Is that a threat? <laughs> How cute. What are you going to do? Kill me? If only I could. And if I do? You barely have the strength to stand, little human. I can rip the rest of your energy out and knock you into a coma. You'll never be able to wake up again. Good luck surviving Damien. He would totally murder you. He already took down Malix. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't mind killing you for, you know, putting me in a coma. Touch me and I'll... Enjoy every minute of it. As long as it's nothing to do with you. I felt my body freeze and heat up to an almost painful haze. My mind began to feel fuzzy as Diana stepped to me and caressed my cheek. Back off, woman. Jesus. Now, you're going to listen to everything I say without any questions. Got it? Nope. I nodded. God damn it. Good. I plan to bring the boys back to the Abyssal Plains. Why? So that I can take my place as queen of their realm. They have no reason to be here in this silly little world. So I'm going to make sure they return home. Okay, Pumpkin? Don't call me Pumpkin. Nope, it's not okay. I nodded but growled. My rage can be concealed despite the hold I was under. You evil bitch. But you already know you're an evil bitch. <laughs> Call me evil all you want, dearie. I'm not evil. You're just in my way. Ready? So I can call you bitch instead then. Yay, marvelous. I 
Hello, Diana. Lean into my ear and whisper, making me unconsciously shiver in both pleasure and annoyance. Now, be a good little human and go to bed. I'll make sure they're gone before you get home tomorrow from school. So make sure to say goodbye in the morning. I would bite you right now. I felt my body move on its own to lie in bed and cover itself in the bed sheets. I glared at Diana the entire way down. Diana laughed in my futility. I'll get you. Oh, please do. Don't you go glowing at me, glowing psycho. All of a sudden, her voice deepened and became cold and demonic, sending a violent scare shiver down my spine, her red eyes practically illuminating in the darkness of my room as she glared at me. Mm. Your eyes are not red right now, love. Give me a reason to make your life a living hell. You talking to me is already making my life a living hell, Diana. I grunted my teeth trying to fight back against the hold on me. She couldn't have been that tough. She needed energy to survive, right? I was sure she couldn't have enough to hold me down forever. Then and then laughed and turned to normal. <laughs> oh, and make sure you don't tell the boys I was here. I want my visit to be a surprise. No can do, pumpkin. I felt the hold of me disappear, allowing me to sit up and practically growl at Diana in rage. Grr. What's stopping me? Then you Don't must not me. care about your friends and family as much as you care for the boys. To you too. I stopped and stared. What did she mean by that? Was that a threat to my family? Diana smirked at me, knowing the confusion behind my eyes. Let's just say that if you tell the boys about me, I'll make sure that no one will care for you, and you'll be all alone in this little house until the day you die. What's this all me for coming for vengeance on you? I could feel freer creeping into me alone. How could she do that? The word demon reverberated in my head. Reminding me that I was facing off against something supernatural. A human with a shield versus a devil was one thing. A human on her own versus a demon was another. Have a good night. And with that, Diana finally sunk into the floor through a magical purple pentagram which disappeared as she vanished into the floor. But god, I'm time she left my room. Hang on, is that how she got in? I couldn't believe it. I had one problem, now I have another. Instead of a psycho, a crazy psycho devil who wanted to kill me and the boys, I had a succubus wanting to ruin my life and take the boys away. Could my life get any worse? No, I wasn't going to let her win. She's not as powerful as she looks, I know it. I had to meant to confirm it, she wasn't going to win. The boys wanted to stay with me. I let her say before closing my eyes, affirming my plan of action. No matter what she was going to do, I was going to beat her. Eventually the morning arrived and the sun screamed at me to get up. Surprisingly, I woke up before my alarm clock once again, which was nice. I stretched out and quickly got dressed, getting ready for school. She expected me to say goodbye to the boys. I would say good morning and we'll see them when I come back. No way am I going to say goodbye. I scooped up my bag and headed downstairs to the dining room. Seeing the boys already eating a delicious selection of food, the smell made my stomach growl widely as the sight of the food drew me twelve further into the room. Good morning, miss. Did you sleep well? Could have been better. Before I could hide the incident in the back of my mind, Damien frowned his eyebrows and stopped eating. She's here. The boys looked to Damien in confusion, like Curse's ability silently in my mouth. Um, Damien, what's up with you? Of course she's here. She kind of owns the house. Damien looked to me, wanting me to explain for him. However, the threat that Diana gave me last night warned me to keep my mouth shut. Wait a 
I shook my head at Damien, not wanting to talk about it. Damien sighed and looked to James. James tilted his hand and his eyebrows at Damien before looking to me. Does anyone else live in this house? No. No, just us. Then who is Diana? Fuck. My heart stopped. Damien was still a in my mind. I couldn't help but glare at him, but I continued to press harder, tell the truth, gaze at me. I say Damien was going to press the issue, so I had no choice but to speak. A girl named Diana came by last night. More like she barged into my house, you no, know, barged into my room and all that stuff. The man named me had you guys over. Diana? Is she important? Why would she be important? She's annoying. Did she try to hurt you? She threatened me, and she touched me, yes. She's a succubus. The single word made the boys stop and stare at me. I looked at each boy, unsure what was going on, going through their minds. Should I have avoided it? So, she's come to try and bring us back. She must really be desperate. Yep. Well, what should we do now? Nothing. She'll give up eventually. Will she? The boys continue to look at me as if I knew the answers to that question. Damn it, Damien! She said that if I told you, she'd make my life a living hell. She can't possibly do that, right? She's not a devil. No, she isn't. However, she is a very powerful being. God damn it. She's a master of mind manipulation and has been trained in illusion. Unlike other demons who use strength to get power, she uses her charisma. She has the power to make armies bow to her and obey her every whim. That's why she's so obsessed with us. Well, what do you mean? Well, she sort of has family ties to us. She was promised to marry one of us in exchange for more power. She's just some whacked up hussy who doesn't know how to close her legs. She's not a real threat. Oh, really? I feel insulted. The boys and I looked around the room, wondering where the voice came from. I felt a cold sweat run down the back of my neck in fear, remembering what kind of power she had. And the fact that the husky was in the room. God damn it. I don't like her. Does she have to be in this story? Of course she has to be. 